This new year is gonna be different. This is the year I'm gonna completely change. Better outfits, better clothing, better style. Look, we've all been there, we've all said that. But if you truly wanna elevate your style this 2024, here's exactly what you need to do. So firstly, let's talk about some mistakes. The biggest mistake I started off with in 2023 is thinking everything is just gonna fall into place. That I could just kick my feet back, relax, because I know things are just gonna happen naturally. And in fact, that's probably the biggest epiphany I had last year. Now I understand things don't fall into place. So let's start off the right way and start off with the little things that can go such a long way. The first question you should ask yourself is, are you accessorizing? No, your funny looking bracelet is not enough. The place I recommend starting off with is a chain. And speaking of chains, let's bring mine out. So the one that I have is a chain with a pendant necklace and you can decide which one you want to get for yourself. You can get a chain by itself, you can get a pendant necklace or just throw on a pendant with a chain. Truthfully, don't really know the difference between a pendant necklace and a chain with a necklace. In my opinion, it's the same thing and you can get any one you want. Now for those of you who like minimalism, don't like anything too flashy, just go with a chain by itself. But I think having a pendant necklace, especially one that represents your beliefs, your values, or anything that you're interested in is a good way of being unique and making you stand out a little bit more. Now look, as somebody who has a bunch of different clothes, I think having something that is unique to you and something that somebody can see and automatically think of you, a better way that I'm trying to get at is having something that's signature to you. I think a pendant is the perfect place to go about it. Now, again, depending if you want to be a little bit more stand out or a little bit more relaxed and casual, you can decide to get more. You can stack it. Truthfully, I don't like anything more than three. In fact, I think three already is pushing it. But having a smaller chain to go above your pendant necklace, I think is a great look that anybody can pull off. Another great accessory is rings. Now, I've never been a big fan of too many rings. And I do think the look of too many rings is slowly dying off. I am a really big believer that minimalism always comes back. I think eventually everybody tends to come back to minimalism. I think the simple things look better therefore not too many rings but just in general i've always found myself wanting to wear rings but never ended up pulling the trigger and so 2024 i'm going to be wearing at least one or two rings and if you ever see me without them feel free to call me out and sometimes accessories can be outside of your comfort zone so start small and remember you should always experiment with things outside of your comfort zone and if you're the kind of person that doesn't like to jump into things start off little by little and eventually you'll be comfortable wearing the things that you've always wanted to wear which i think is the main thing that holds back anybody's style is not having the confidence to wear certain things. So this 2024, if you really wanna start dressing better, you have to come to peace with stepping outside your comfort zone. The point is you wanna make habits of these things. And if you're serious about building the right habits, so have you looking your best, you need to fall into the habit of taking care of your skin. That's exactly where T Channel comes in, the sponsor of today's video. These are the guys that simplified skincare for me. And because it's so simple, it made the habit of skincare so much easier. And after a while, it just became addicting. Having smooth, clear skin is something I never want to let go. And so using T Channel twice a day, it's exactly how I make sure that I never lose that. Take it from me. My confidence has skyrocketed ever since I got clear skin. And the way that to this day I'm able to keep clear skin is using T. Chanley. Washing my face twice a day using a cleanser, then a moisturizer, exfoliating twice a week, eye serums, all these are my essentials. And T. Chanley has made it so easy to always make sure you have the essentials in hand. All this with avoiding any gimmicks that you don't need. That's why I like T. Chanley. They're simple and honest. Nothing you don't need, yet everything you need to have clear skin. And because of that, my morning and night routines are fast, simple, my favorite part, I see results. Results that boosted my appearance, that made me more confident. And let's be real, the whole idea of elevating your style, it all boils down to making you more confident. And what will have you more confident than clear skin? So again, if you're really serious about elevating yourself, not just your style, then make the jump and use T. Shanley. In my personal experience, not only have I felt so much better since using it, I also get a lot more compliments with it. And I'm not gonna lie to you, these compliments went straight to my head, but for good reason. That's just the effect of having smooth, I would even go as far as saying, glass skin. You can build your routine to fit your needs, whether it's just the essentials or moving on to the little things that go a long way. For example, eye serums that help get rid of the eyes underneath your bags, which is something that I'm really big into because that's something I've always struggled with as well. But again, Tish has made it easy to fix all of these problems. And you could do the same using the first link in the description. And using this link, you'll get 30% off your first box plus a free gift. Now let's talk about the next way to elevate your style with shoes. Now there's really two kinds of people when it comes to shoes. The person that bases their entire outfit based on what shoes they want to wear today or the person that just throws it on at the end. I think it's pretty obvious which one am I. I'm just the person that throws it on at the end. And honestly, this used to hold back my style. And I'm not saying that you need to base your entire outfit based on your shoes in order to elevate your style. I'm saying the opposite, that if you are the kind of person just like me who thinks of shoes at the very end, then you need to make sure that your shoe collection goes with anything else in your wardrobe by making sure your shoes are very versatile, comfortable, and always stylish. And to this day, my shoe rotation is the best that it's ever been. 
I have something for every occasion. Now, yes, I do have a quite a bit of pair of shoes. However, for you, that doesn't mean you need a ton of different shoes. In fact, you could have the perfect tube rotation with about three to five shoes. For one, let's start off with the most basic one, a pair of white sneakers. This is something that you could wear every single day. And depending on the silhouette of it, it's going to go with anything else in your outfit. The most classic one is going to be something like Air Force Ones. I think these tend to get a little bit boring. So some good alternatives that I've been personally liking are the Amy Leon Dore New Balance 550s. Represent Alpha Low sneakers. These, in my opinion, are the perfect white sneaker. I also think you need a pair of comfortable sneakers just in case you know you're going to be walking around a lot. I just came back from a trip where I thought I was only going to be staying for the night. Next thing I knew, I was on this trip for another 30 hours. I was walking around a lot. And although I'm a really big fan of boots i should have chosen a more comfortable sneaker now i do think new balance 550s are very comfortable new balance is actually known for being extremely comfortable so that is a great option as well i'm also a really big fan of reebok club c's and if you want to get some running shoes although i don't typically use them to go out it is a good option in case you wanted to try those i also think every guy needs a pair of boots and i'm truly saying this for any age i know young guys don't like to wear boots trust me i was too scared to buy my first pair of boots because I thought I was gonna get judged. I thought I was gonna look like a tryhard. But ever since I got my hands on my first pair of Thursday boots, I've been loving it ever since. Recently, I picked up a new pair of Captain boots. And these are the boots that I wore out. And although I was getting a lot of compliments with it, I wouldn't wear it if you're gonna be walking around a lot. I also think a statement pair of sneakers is a great option. And your fifth pair of sneaker can be literally anything you want because everything else is perfect for any occasion. However, I would say, think about your day-to-day -day lifestyle. Think about what you could wear, the compliments, anything you're already gonna be doing. In my opinion, that makes the perfect fifth sneaker. It's gonna go with anything. Now let's talk about some new pickups. I am huge into the idea that you don't always need new clothes. And look, there might be some of you that might be thinking that's easy for you to say because you have a ton of clothes as it is. And yes, you are right. But because of that, I can confidently tell you that shopping therapy is not a real thing. Thinking you want to dress better and therefore you need new clothes is not the way to go about things. Finding the balance of buying clothes when needed or when you're good for it will not only make sure your style is constantly improving, it's going to be a better option for your wallet as well. Look, this year, I feel like I've been dressing the best. In fact, I'm the most confident. And because of that, January 7th, I am dropping a full ebook on exactly how I changed everything and became the most confident I'm going to be. So just a heads up. Be on the lookout for that soon. Let's talk about why you could be constantly improving by not relying on new clothes. That's because every time you're bored of your outfits, the first thing you're going to look to is new clothes. And I can confidently say this is going to be an endless cycle. You're never going to have enough clothes to stop you from always being bored. That's because you're relying on your clothes rather than your creativity. But let's take, for example, that you're okay with the fact that you're not going to buy new clothes. So what should you do instead of getting bored and stop wearing those clothes? You should find new ways to make it more interesting and look better. One thing that I'm going to be big into next year that's really going to elevate my style is taking it to the tailor and altering the fit of my clothes. I know for a fact that it's going to make my clothes look so much better. Not because the piece itself looks good, but it's going to fit perfectly on my own body. And then you can find new ways to style these pieces. For example, a sweater. Wearing it by itself looks good, but once you're tired of that, try a shirt underneath. And you could try a coat on top of it. Point is, switching it up costs a lot less, makes you more creative, and makes you elevate your style. So at the end of the day, it's exactly what we want for the new year. The next way to elevate your style is to start looking at extremely expensive items. Now look, I know what you mean. You don't have the money for all these expensive items. Trust me. I don't either. I don't have money to go to Tom Ford. I've been really wanting pieces from Amy Leon Dore, but some of these pieces are $250, $300. Some of these things are outrageously expensive. And that is perfect because these are the exact pieces that we need to be looking at. And the reason for that is because all these extremely expensive items, instead of letting your impulses win and either wasting a ton of money on expensive items, what we could do instead is look at these expensive items and find affordable alternatives. Zara, H&M, Abercrombie, all these places are known for having extremely affordable options that look very close to designer pieces, especially Zara. So look for those expensive items. You could probably find some similar ones from Zara or another great way to do it is take a screenshot of these expensive items, go to some of your favorite websites that have the ability to search by image. There's a great way to go about finding some affordable alternatives. Or another great way would be by shopping secondhand. Now look, there's people on Poshmark that are selling very expensive items for very cheap or some normal priced items for even cheaper. So whoever's buying my clothes from Poshmark, you're getting a good deal. Now the next style tip is something I'm really big into. And that is dress like the person you want to become. So envision yourself. How do I want to look when I'm older? Now think about it. What's stopping you from dressing like that? When I was younger, I always looked at people who dressed very well with coats, sweaters, expensive items. And truthfully, yes, the thing that was holding me back were these extremely expensive items. But once I started to find affordable alternatives, I started to realize that I could dress exactly how I've always wanted to for less. For example, coats. Coats are typically very expensive, but 
found one for $100. Now I'm dressing like the person I want to become. To me, I associate these expensive coats with someone who's successful, someone who's young and handsome. And honestly, that's exactly how I envision myself to be. And therefore, I am dressing for the part. That being said, if you want to see a video to how young guys should gain confidence, should dress, there's a video that's going to show you exactly that. Other than that, see you in the next one. Later.